What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got a package from Pit Viper. Let's see what's in it. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. We got the iron wheel out to open this. Oh yeah, that did it good. Oh, look at this fella. Very simple package. You got your stickers you always get. I have too many of these. I don't think I've used any of them. Got those. Shipping details. And we have the all-star flip-offs. <laughs> no, it's priceless. Just says to flip them off. <laughs> so you can see right there, that's what we're rolling with. The old Pit Viper flip-offs. The all-stars. That's the front. Then you got right here. You got... You can flip them off. Your dog, the mailman, your mom, your teacher, the ump, your old pit vipers, the government, Jared's hot dad. What in the hell? They got some. You never know what you're going to see on the old pit viper box. There you go, the old baseball diamond. He's rolling with them. On the back here, we have the curveball earpiece, the flip-up control knuckle, the middle finger nose piece, the flippers. So let's just get right into them. We have a heavier-duty case, okay? She's a little solid. Bit Viper's on there. Now let's just get these, these, oh, now we got a bag. There they be. Oh, look at them. So here they are. This is the first look at the All-Star flip-ups. And you can see around here, this is the curveball earpiece. I can tell you right now, these actually do feel a heck of a lot sturdier than the OG pits. I do love them but these do feel better. They're not as soft here. My code on the inside is home run, which is nice, but that's the sides right there. You can see it's just red, white, and blue. You got the white being speckled like almost like a graffiti down the ear, earpiece here and the frame. And then the front is just classic, uh, almost like absolute freedom. I don't believe these are polarized, which if you're going to make flip ups, make them polarized. I don't understand why they do not do that. But I like them. They got the Pit Viper on there like usual. And then you throw them on, this is how she looks. So you're rolling with them. You're looking at moose. Okay, so we had to flip the hat so we can get the eyes on them. But you can, Hawk and Moose are telling me that they can see right through, see my eyes. These are not polarized, so do not stare into the sun like this. Because it goes right through, I can tell you that. But anyway, so this is not deployed. Or I guess this would be deployed. And if you got to flip them up, you just latch on, push right on the backside and flip them up. I got to say, it's a weird feeling wearing glasses that are out here. It's almost like you could just, they're polarized. It's like sunshades. You know what I'm saying? But they do feel a lot better. The lens quality and everything, I still think, uh, I love the OGs. I love Pit Vipers. I think they're cool. They got a lot going for them. They're not high-end shades by no means, but they're just a good time. And for me, for slow pitch softball or the wiffle ball tournament or anything like that, you betcha I'm going to be rocking these bad boys. I wish they were polarized, though. That's a big difference. I mean, it it's not bad, but you can see them through. Looking up, it does protect your eyes a little bit, but don't sit there and stare at the sun. Just don't do it. I got to say, though, the flip-up works really good. I'm curious how that's going to hold up. It takes light pressure, just kind of hold here and just push. Once it hits that hinge point, it flips right up, and then you're like this, feeling all weird. I'd just wear them like that, but it is cool to see Pit Vipers making new things. I'm pretty impressed with them. Is it my favorite pair? Probably not, but it's pretty cool. They have three different colors you can choose from. I believe it's blacked out. And then the other one's the heater, so it is all baseball themed. That's why they're flip-ups. But this is just going to be a quick video on them. The first impression, I got to say, they feel better built. They're different for sure, even amongst Pit Vipers. They're a completely different look. They do have sizes on their website for these. I'm pretty sure this was just the normal size. But I'm curious to see how they last, how they hold up. I will film a six-month review and then an in-depth review on these as well. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that content. Drop your comments below. Let me know what Pit Vipers you have in your collection. And let me know what you think of the first look of these. They just came out. 
they showed up. They're pretty nifty little creatures. And I tell you what, the hinge on there, I mean, it, it's, it really locks out. It ain't going to flip back down unless you want it to. So that's pretty cool, but they're definitely different. Pit vipers always are. They're made for those that party. It's pretty intriguing. But guys, as always, smash thumbs up button for your boys. We give you no BS, honest performance talks, or S walks, reviews. We do all things outdoors. We like pit vipers. Well, I like pit vipers. I like doing reviews on them, hearing the feedback from you guys. So make sure you subscribe. Check out all our content. We do broadhead tests, pattern tests, hunts. You name it, we do it. And share these videos with all your friends that you think would benefit from them. Let's see, uh, are the new and improved flip-ups your new favorite go-tos, or do you like the OGs better? Let us know. Make sure to share. As always, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And it's time to put the flip-offs out. Take her easy.